Guys, in this video, you will see how you can post a tweet on Twitter directly and automatically from your Microsoft Excel sheet. So guys, here we are going to connect Microsoft Excel as the trigger application and Twitter as the action application of our automation workflow. And you just have to add the details of the tweets in a row in your Microsoft Excel worksheet. And after every eight hours, the data that you're adding here will be posted as tweets from your Twitter account automatically. And to set up this automation, we are using Pabli Connect. And you can also set up this without any coding very easily. Let me show you how. So guys, this is the landing page of Pabli Connect and we have pasted this link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks to, uh, task to set up your automation, okay? So you can sign up for free here and after that you can log in and reach on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And here you have to click on this create workflow button and here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name to my workflow as Microsoft Excel to Twitter. All right, so after giving the name, just click on create and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And here you will find the trigger and action modules. So with the help of these two things, we are going to set up this automation. So in the trigger, we are going to connect that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So the trigger event is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. So in our use case, our trigger application would be Microsoft Excel and the action application would be Twitter. So here you have to search for Microsoft Excel. Here it is selected. And here you can see it is showing every eight hours. So this trigger is going to check in every eight hours for the new data that you are adding inside the rows of your worksheet. And in every eight hours, this workflow is going to trigger and upload the data as new tweets from your Twitter handle. Okay, so the trigger event would be a new row in worksheet. Okay, then click on connect. And from here, we are going to connect with Microsoft Excel. So select add new connection, then click on connect with Excel. And from here, you have to provide some additional access to Pabli Connect to make the connection. So that is completely fine. Just click on yes here. Okay, and you can see the authorization is successful and will be connected. So you can see we are connected here and here it is asking for the workbook's name. So uh, this is my workbook, you can see named as Tweets by Ashirai. Okay, so here you have to select this workbook's name from this workbook's list. So here you will find, let me search for it. Here it is Tweets by this person, select this. And you can see the worksheet name got auto uh, selected here because we have only one sheet here named as sheet one. Okay. And now when you click on save and send test request, the details that you have added here in this row, you can see this is the date and the tweet I have, uh, I have added in a row. Okay. So this data is going to be fetched by my workflow as the test data. Okay. So click on save and send test request and let's see what happens. And here you can see we got the data like this. Okay, and here you can see it is showing the data, the date in this format and the tweet that we want to post is here. Okay, so this is the same message I have added here, you can see. And this is the same data we got here. Right, now we can post it on Twitter. For that to happen, you have to connect Twitter inside this action step. Here is Twitter. Select the action event now as create a tweet then click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with Twitter and from here it will it it also uh, it might bring you to the login window if you're not logged in in your Twitter account but as, but as I have already logged in here it is just asking to authorize the application to make the connection so just click on authorize app button and you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected okay and here it is asking for the message that you want to tweet and you can see uh, 
we have a word limit a character limit inside twitter you can only tweet maximum 280 words in a tweet okay so you are adding the data here in your uh, worksheet manually so if you want to ensure that the message or the tweet that you want to uh, post on twitter should be under 280 words you can use a feature here of pavli which is called text formatter you can just read it you can use text formatter to truncate the, your character uh, your characters inside this word limit okay so guys to use the text formatter feature here you just have to uh, click here on this plus icon in between these two steps just click here okay and search for text formatter here it is and here you have to select the action event as this truncate you can see it is going to shorten the given string and add ellipsis at the end of the string also so just click on truncate option then click on connect and here it is asking which text you want to shorten so here we have received this text in this label so i am going to map this text label here you can see when i clicked here it is showing the previous or the trigger step and the drop down and when you click on it it will show you the data that you have received from here map this text okay maximum length so here you have to put the word limit my word limit is, is 280 words if you want to skip some characters you can uh, add characters here that you want to skip okay but right now i do not want anything of that here it is asking if you want to uh, add ellipses at the end of the string like the three dots okay so three dots is the default ellipse string here if you want uh, that to be continued or click on the link kind of ellipsis text you can add the ellipse, ellipse text here right now i'm just making it true and i i'll go with the three dots okay and click on save and send test request and here you can see the result label is here and in this re result label you can see we are actually under the word limit so it, it, it does not truncate any of the thing but if your word limit exceeds uh, 280 words this feature is going to trim it shorten it according to your word limit okay now you can map this here but you can see as i'm clicking here it is not showing the previous steps so uh, we need to refresh the connection guys because we have added this step before this step okay so click on this connected button one more time and from here keep this existing connection option selected and then click on save one more time and your connection will be refreshed here and now when you click here it will show you the previous two steps right and from the second text format or truncate step map this result label like this okay and now when you click on save and send test request this uh, this message will be created as a new tweet from your account so this is my twitter profile this is the total pro twitter profile i have connected actually okay so let's check our connection with twitter i am clicking on save and send test request and this uh, data will be created as a test tweet for you like this okay so it is showing us this kind of response let's check from our twitter handle if we got a new tweet here let me refresh this section all right and here you can see we got a new tweet marriage ultimately is the practice of becoming passionate friends this is the same tweet that i have added here as the test tweet and it got posted here like this and guys you have to set up this automation only once after that you do not have to do anything manually in this workflow after that you just have to add the details of your tweets in your worksheet here in microsoft excel and in every eight hours all the data that you are adding here will be posted as new tweets from your twitter handle handle automatically like this okay and our workflow is going to run in the background in that file okay so you can use this workflow because i'm going to paste it in the description and you can clone it in your own free pabli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel